guys, it's me, My Reborns, and I am back with another video. You a former actor, Today is Wednesday, February 14th, and it's currently 1.26 p.m., and I have some lana here for today's video. And it is Valentine's Day. Ignore the background. The background looks messy. I am actually very irritated right now because I just spent about... 30 minutes of my time putting up my painting desk just for it to not fit and work out. So I have to return it because it's literally the the desk part literally does not fit on it, if that makes sense. Like the desk is too long for the parts. The, the actual like board, the board for the desk is too long. But Anyways, I just want that cat out the way because I know it looks pretty creepy. But I have all my babies lined up. They're still in the same way. Like, I'm just so irritated. Today's my day off. Uh, yesterday I was supposed to have off, but they called me in. But I just, I don't know. You know, today's supposed to be a day relaxing. Not me cleaning, not me putting stuff together, being handy mandy. So, I'm done with that. Anyways, Solana's in her chair that we got from Timu. You guys can use my code down below in the description to get money off and a discount as well. And she needs her hair done because her hair has been like this for a long time now. I did take out these two rubber bands and so she looks kind of weird. But yeah, her hair has been like this since literally Christmas. It's cute though. Did I show you guys the back of it? This is how the back looks. Well, this side is done for it. You guys can tell it's getting old. Cause look, it's getting frizzy. So, anyways, I did not dress any babies for Valentine's Day. Oh, it's also my niece's birthday. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't dress any babies for Valentine's Day. But there is like this little tradition that I used to like to do, and it was just read this book because it is such a good book. I had read it back in the fourth grade, and my mom, me and my mom went on Amazon and we found it. It was used. But it was like only a couple of dollars. And they are missing some of like the cards. But it's just... I'm going to get a new one actually. I should get a new one. But I've had this since then. Like since the fourth grade. Like I wanted this book so bad. Because we read it in class. And I just loved it. And I loved that it had like the envelopes. It was just... I don't know. Nostalgic. So I should get another one. But it's pretty good condition since I had it since the fourth grade. It's been well over a decade. So... It's called Be My Valent Slime by J.K. Arden, illustrated by jo Al Joy Allen. And you guys can actually, if you look on my channel, I have a few Valentine's Day videos out of me reading this exact book. But I'm going to be reading it to my babies and to you guys. And uh, yeah, happy Valentine's Day. Hope your day is filled with love. I hope you guys got some awesome treats like chocolate or gifts and flowers. My sister has surprised me and my mom and gave us a little bit of money for Valentine's Day. So, thank you to her. I'm very appreciative of that. I don't know what I can use it on. I don't know what I should use it on, but it'll come in handy. Okay, we're going to read Be My Valentine's Slime. And it is a little chilly down here. It's always, like, a little cold down here. So, I got the sniffles. But, let's go ahead and read this book. Be my valence line. I'm ready to get to Solana as well as to the rest of the baby. So you guys need to listen as well as to you guys. <laughs> All right. Greta hated boys. She had hated boys for a whole year. Ever since Harris, her next door neighbor has sneaked the slimy slug into her backpack for a Valentine's Day present. Well, this Valentine's Day was Greta's turn and she was ready. Love this book so much. I'm so excited. Harris was so busy talking about all the Valentines he would get, he didn't notice when Greta slipped something into his backpack. So, when he took out his books before class, he was delighted to discover a bright red candy box. Eagerly, he read the card and lifted the lid. It's Valentine's Day. Here's something for you. There are creamies and crunchies and chewy ones too. Harris, get ready to take a big bite. These tidbits are guaranteed to be out of sight, Greta. Gotcha, Harris. You've been valent slimed. P.S. Don't eat them all at once. 
Oh, yucky. She gave Harris a tin full of bugs and insects. Ah, imagine you think you're getting chocolate just for you to be balanced slime. Harris flung the box into the air and shrieked. Creepy creatures flew everywhere. A spider landed on his leg, a worm wriggled on his shoe. Worst of all was the enormous slug that oozed over his desk and across his homework. Greta grinned. She had waited a whole year for this. Best revenge ever, right? Now Harris remembered he had balanced slime Greta the year before, but he would not be out slimed. His chance came during science. The moment Greta looked away, he stuck a huge celery stick into her garden pot. Greta turned, stared at her pot, and shouted, Look, everyone, look! I grew a celery tree! Miss Dupus glowered. The kids gawfed. Greta noticed the envelope. To Greta, green thumbs. Do we have this one? Oh, we do. Like I said, I'm missing some of them because I got this book used. Look at the details. This is such a neat book. I love books. All right. To read the car. You see the car, Solana? See the car, babies? Greta's the grower of celery trees. Her fame will spread across the seven seas. Past the peanut butter, slime and tine, Harris. Oh, these are so neat. Okay. The next class was banned, and Greta thought fast. Mr. Frederick tapped his baton. The band started playing, but when Harris flew his tuba, a terrible noise came out. Frrrt! He tried again. Frrrt! Mr. Frederick scowled as Harris reached into his horn and pulled out a pickle. The band giggled. Harris turned red. Harris spotted an envelope. Can you guys point out where the envelope is? Can you, Solana? Where's the envelope? Good job. The envelope's right there on his music sheet. For Harris, the pucker pus. Mr. Frederick thinks your talent is fickle. You better shape up or you'll be in a pickle. Happy Valentine's Slimes, Greta. His lips were still puckering when he entered the lunchroom. The kids from band were making furry noises and whispering, pucker pus. But Harris had only revenge on his mind. When he saw Greta's lunch next to the pepper shaker, he wasted no time. Patooey! Greta spit when she bit into her peanut butter and black pepper sandwich. While gulping her milk, she noticed an envelope. Can you point out the envelope, Solana? Good job. There's the envelope right by her banana and cupcake. For gasping Greta... Sometimes you think you're so hot. Now's the time to learn that you're not. Patui Greta, you've been slimed again, Harris. Some of y'all need to read this card again. Mm hmm Okay. Enough shade. It's Valentine's Day. We're giving out love. All right. In gym, Harris felt itchy. The more he scratched, the worse he itched. The more he itched, the more he bungled and fumbled the ball. Miss Golden blew her whistle. Harris, pay attention! The ball whooshed past him. A cheer erupted. Greta had just scored. That's when he noticed an envelope and an empty pocket of itching powder in his pocket. An empty packet of itching powder in his pocket. My apologies. Where are they getting all this stuff from? Where did they get an itching packet from? Can you guys spot out the envelope? Can you, Solana? Good job, you've been on a roll. All right. Do I have this one? Oh, I do. For Harris, the humbler fumbler. <laughs> Look how she drew him. Itching and scratching. Number nine, sure can prance. Is he playing ball or learning to dance? A top team player is called a hero, but move like this and you're just a zero. Hey, itchy, scratchy, balance lines day, Greta. <laughs> the illustration of this book is just so good at last school was over so far Greta and Harris had survived each other's balance lines but it was only 3 o'clock Greta and Harris had arts and crafts class after school today they didn't walk together 
Greta walked on one side of the street, still between her peanut butter and black pepper sandwich. Harris walked on the other side, still itching around the collar. Today, everyone was going to make Valentine's Day picture frames. Miss Cynthia had laid out the paints, markers, glitter, and glue. Greta decided to make a frame for her dad. She chose the white glitter and began her project. Harris decided to make a frame for his mother. He chose the red glitter and started to work, trying not to scratch. They're both so angry. Harris's big break came when Greta left to wash her paintbrush. When she returned, everyone was giggling. Greta snatched her frame in alarm, but it wouldn't budge. It was stuck fast to the tablecloth. Greta noticed the envelope. Where's that envelope trivia? Good job. Greta stuck up. <gasps> no! <laughs> we unfortunately don't have that card. By the time next year, I think I'm going to get another one because I need the card. Of course, I'm going to keep this one. But I just need the card. I need to know what cards are in there. And what they said, I'm nosy. What did he say? <laughs> After arts and crafts class, Greta and Harris were not speaking. Greta's mom picked them up. They sat as far away from each other as they could. Happy Valentine's Day, Greta mother beamed. Happy Valentine's Slimes Day, said Greta and Harris at exactly the same time. Valentine's Slimes? Tine, said Greta. Yeah, said Harris. Valentine's. The truth was, both Greta and Harris were completely exhausted. It hadn't been a very fun Valentine's Day at all. But the day was almost over, and their only stop before home was the bookstore. Sounds like a fun day to me. Get the chance to go buy books. <laughs> While the Valentine's had been fun at first, they had gotten way out of hand. Greta decided that there was still time to save Valentine's Day. She chose a book for Harris. Harris had exactly the same idea. He chose a book for Greta. Leaving the store, they handed each other a bag. Here, Harris, said Greta. Here, Greta, said Harris. Who knew what slimy trouble was inside? They both eyed each other suspiciously. Look at, can you guys spot the cards? Trivia, trivia. And where else? Good job, there's two cards on the, on the baggies. As soon as she got home, Greta peeked over so cautiously into her bag. Was she surprised? There was a copy of Beauty and the Beast with a card attached. Oh, I don't think I have the card for these, do I? Don't, but look how tiny and cute they are. Look how they decorated them. They're so cute. As soon as he got home, Harris peeked over so cautiously into his bag. Was he surprised? There was a copy of Beauty and the Beast with the card attached. Aww. And that's it. This is such a cute book, I want to cry. So I'm missing three, a total of three envelopes. Not bad, but we have to get this book and we have to, we have to have all seven envelopes. I need to know what they said on the card because I obviously I don't remember. <laughs> the last time I read this book was a few years ago and I didn't have the cards then, but the actual last time I read it was in the fourth grade. But it says, so this is the story of Harris and Greta and their challenge to find out which one was better at plotting and scheming and tricking and slamming at pickling, peppering, powdering, and rhyming. At the close of this nerve wracking balance slimes day, the race seems to tie. It can go either way. Now, Greta and Harrison say without fear, Hey, neighbor, just wait till I slime you next year. This book is so cute. It's so adorable. I love this book. Neighbors, yes. Best friends, Harley. Last Valentine's Day, Harris played a joke on Greta, and this year, Greta wants to get even. Oh, I love this book. I know I keep saying that, but oh my gosh, I love it so much. Shout out to J.K. Arden and Joy Allen, because jo who I did was to add the cards in there. Y'all ate that up. Y'all did a beautiful, amazing, spectacular job. But yeah, guys, so that is it for today's video. I just want to say... Happy Valentine's Slimes Day to all of you guys. <laughs> uh, let me know what you guys got up to. Did you guys go on a date? Did you guys go out to eat? 
go to the movies. Did you guys get some chocolate? Some teddy bears? <laughs> so anyways, guys, I hope you guys have an amazing Valentine's Day or an amazing Wednesday. Your choice. And uh, I don't think I have anything else to say. I don't think so. I'm trying to think. This room looks a mess. Like, if I showed you guys, you guys are going to be like, what the heck happened? Did a tornado come in? I'm like, yes, a tornado did come in. But I was hoping to get this desk up today so I can start painting today. But if the universe is telling me to just lay down on my day off before I work tomorrow, then I guess that's what I should be doing. <laughs> but yeah, guys, um, again, that's pretty much it for today's video. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go, and I'm going to go as well. If you guys want to go ahead and follow me on Instagram, you guys can do so. My Instagram is Maya underscore reborns. It is linked down below in the description. So if you, if I, I always say it at the end, but if you don't watch it until the end and you went on my Instagram, it's literally my name, but also you can click on a direct link in the description. Uh, these two babies are for sale. They're both full body silicones. She's so cheap. So if you're interested in her, let me know. She wouldn't even take up all you guys' taxes either. She'll probably be half of you guys taxes if that some of y'all be making bang but anyways yeah if you guys like this video get a big thumbs up comment down below if you guys want to come to queen of your request never subscribe to my channel make sure to subscribe and also read that post because always be notified when i post another video all right i'll talk to you guys later have a great day bye mm -hmm.